Hello everyone and welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you as always for being here. I'm Cassie, your movie host of the evening. Tonight I am watching Shutter Island. Did you know that ever since this came out, I thought it was Shutter, like ugh, Shutter, like Shutter, you know? A group of friends I remember wanting, were wanting to watch this way back when but I thought it was Shutter Island and so it sounded so scary and the cover looked scary so I was out. But look at me now, conquering my fears. I'm gonna watch Shutter Island. I'm excited, I know Leo is in it. He is one of my favorites. I loved him in a lot of things. Uh, catch me if you can, Blood Diamond, Inception, Titanic. If you like and subscribe, it's always super helpful and you can always check out full length reactions, early access, blah, 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 here, Patreon. Okay, let's watch a show. Oh, that made me feel nauseous. Oh, Mark Ruffalo's in this. I love him too. You're my new partner. That's right. How about you? You got a girl? She died. Oh. Jesus, there was a fire at the apartment building while I was at work. Oh my god, damn. Cigarettes. Are they some kind of detectives? All I know is it's a mental hospital. Oh, good. But they're criminally insane. On an island. It's the only way on. Or off. We'll be casting off as soon as you two are ashore. Why? Storm's coming. Oh boy. What decade are we in here? Welcome to Shutter Island. I'll be the one taking you up to Ashcliff. They seem nice. The boys seem a little on edge, Mr. McPhiest. We all are. Did they lose a prisoner or something? Electrified perimeter. What can you tell? I've seen something like it before. I feel like somebody's gonna jump out at me. All right. <sighs> you gentlemen will be accorded all the help we can give. The red brick building on your right, the male ward. The female ward is the one on your left. Ward C, the most dangerous patients are housed there. You act like insanity is catching. You are hereby required to surrender your firearms. I don't like that. We take only the most dangerous damaged patients. People outside and gone. IDs, gentlemen. I feel so claustrophobic for them. I think being on an island is just... Um... Used to be the kind of patients we deal with here were shackled and left in their own filth. We drove screws into their brains. We submerged them in icy water until they lost consciousness or even drowned. Oh my gosh. And now? Try to heal, try to cure. Provide them with a measure of comfort in their lives. Calm. They've hurt people. Murdered them in some cases. Screw their sense of calm. It's my job to treat my patients, not their victims. So this female prisoner. Patient. So someone has escaped. Rachel Solando. She killed all three of her children. She drowned them in the lake behind her house. Oh my gosh. And what about the husband? She's a war widow. She insisted the children weren't dead. You don't happen to have an aspirin, do you? What were those flashbacks? Mm -hmm. All right, boss. Yeah. Rachel still believes the children are alive. She also believes this place is her home in the Berkshires. For all delivery men, milkmen, postal workers. She's created an elaborate fictional structure. She gives us all parts to play in that wow. fiction. We don't know how she got out of her room. It was locked from the outside. It's like Nicole Kidman and the others. She created a fiction in her mind, refused to believe what she'd done. How is it possible that the truth never gets through to her? Sanders is not a choice. The law of four, who is 67? Fuck if I know. I have to say, that's quite close to my clinical conclusion. <laughs> Where did she go? Karen was strong last night. She'd have drowned and been crushed on the rocks and a body would have washed back up on shore. What about those caves down there? No way she could get there. They're always where you least expect. I didn't see nothing. And you were at your post all night? Yeah, but I didn't see a thing. He looks like he may be lying. 
Tell me the truth. I maybe went to the bathroom. She was in a group therapy session. Anything unusual occur? This is a mental institution. Usual isn't a big part of our day. <laughs> was there a doctor present? Yes, Dr. Sheehan led the discussion. He's Rachel's primary. Well, where's Dr. Sheehan? He left on the ferry this morning. His vacation was already planned. You let her primary doctor leave on vacation? Of course, he's a doctor. <laughs> Do you have the phone number for where he's gone? Anybody there? Something is sorry, off. Sir, but it's all down. But I also feel like I'm gonna like this. I like mystery, crime solving. This is the original commander's quarters when Uncle Sam got the bill. The commander was court martialed. <laughs> it's music. What is this? It's Marley. That looked like a concentration camp. You're poisoned, gentlemen. Sort of nice, please. Isn't it common for men in your profession to imbibe? What's that? He's tea in your glass there. You have outstanding defense mechanisms. You must be quite adept at interrogations. What is this? That's Hitler. That hit there was a picture. Oh my gosh. That is a concentration camp. I've seen a death camp, Doctor. The English is sehr gut fast. Perfect. Is legal immigration a crime? We're gonna need those files on Sheehan. He relayed your request and it's been refused. This investigation is over. We're gonna file our reports and we're gonna hand it over to our... Hoover's boys. Hoover's boys, that's right. Come on, Chuck. They are not cooperating, why? Jesus, are you ever sober anymore? Killed a lot of people in the war. Is that why you drink? Are you real? She's still here. Who? Who? Rachel. She never left. Is this his late wife? Is this Ash falling? Oh! I love you so much. Oh. I'm just going to the box today. No. I am. Oh, God. Here. I'm not. She is. Is this his subconscious telling him that? Latest. Who's latest? I have to go. This is so painful. You have to let me go. Wake up, Teddy. It's a nightmare. Do you know the state of the mental health field these days? Not a clue, Doctor. War. The old school believes in surgical intervention. Some say the patients become reasonable, others say they become zombies. And the new school? A new drug has just been approved called Thorazine, which relaxes psychotic patients. And which school are you, Doc? I have this radical idea that if you treat a patient with respect, listen to him, try and understand, you just might reach him. <laughs> these patients. Rachel Solando was on a combination of drugs. The greatest obstacle to her recovery was her refusal to face what she had done. Is there a reason you keep referring to your patient in the past tense, Doctor? Look outside, Marshall. Why do you think? He thinks she's dead? And then she asked me if she can have a glass of water? Like, that's no big deal? She wanted me to pull out my thing so that she could laugh at it. We need to ask you some questions, okay? When I cut her, she screamed. Oh. We're here to talk about Rachel Solando. You know that she drowned her own kids? Gas the bitch! Could you stop that? A nurse? Please stop that. Maybe she had kids, huh? You tore her face off. No more normal for her, not ever again. He's not gonna get answers. Do you know what she was afraid of? You. Could you stop that? You know a patient named Andrew Latus? No! No! Oh, I don't know if this is the best approach. Oh, I'll never get out of here. I'm not sure that I should. You seem quite normal. Most people don't kill their husbands with an axe. Huh. Huh. Although, personally, I think if a man beats you and no one will help you, axing him isn't the least understandable thing you could do. Maybe you shouldn't get out. What would I do if I did? What can you tell us about Rachel? She thought she was still living in the Berkshires. We were all her neighbors. Milkman. Postman. Deliveryman. Dr. Sheehan was there that night. Tell me about him. Uh, he's, uh... What? Not hard on the eyes, as my mother would say. <laughs> Something's up with Dr. Sheehan. Could I have a glass of water, please? No problem. Thank you, Marshall. What? Did you ever meet a patient named Andrew Latus? Who's Andrew Latus? Never heard of her. 
She was coached. It's like she'd been told exactly what to Who's say. Andrew Latus? They do. They all said the postman, the milkman, the delivery man. Andrew Latus was a maintenance man in the apartment building where my wife and I lived. Andrew Latus lit the match that caused the fire that killed my wife. It was arson? About a year ago, I opened up the paper and there he is. He burned down a schoolhouse. He said Cloyster told him to do it. Then he got transferred here. Then what? He vanished like he never existed. No record whatsoever. What? It could be dead. So could Rachel Solando. A lot of places to hide a body here. Only one place no one would really notice. But who's killing them? That patient. She said something to you back there, didn't she? No. Come on, boss. She wrote it. What'd she write? Run. We gotta get it done. Turn me to fucking characters out here. Let's go. Okay, boss. I feel like the doctor's up to something. Latus is here. What are you gonna do about it? I'm not here to kill Latus. Was my wife. I'd kill him twice. What's happening? Oh, another flashback. When we got through the gates at Dark Isle, the SS guard surrendered. The commandant tried to kill himself. He botched it. it. Took him an hour to die. When I went outside, I saw all the bodies on the ground. Oh my gosh. Oh. Ah. The guards surrendered. We took their gun. Oh my gosh. It wasn't warfare, it was murder. I had enough of killing. No wonder he was messed up when he got back. You know this place is funded by a special grant from the House on American Activities Committee. You act? And how exactly fighting the commies from an island in Boston Harbor? By conducting experiments on the mind. HUAC is an anti-communist branch. Well, I found somebody who used to be a patient here. George Noyce, Ward C. They release him after one year. Then he walks into a bar, stabs three men to death. Oh my gosh. He begs the judge for the electric chair anywhere but a mental hospital. The judge gives him life and dead in prison. And you found him? Yeah, I found him. Oh, he's doing a secret investigation. They're experimenting on people here. How do you believe a crazy guy? Crazy people, they're the perfect subjects. They talk, nobody listens. I stood at dark and we fought a goddamn war to stop them. And now, now I find out it may be happening here. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. <gasps> what if they wanted you here? Bullshit. We came here for Rachel Solanda. Where was one shred of evidence she even existed? No Wait. Well, you were looking into them, they were looking into you. <gasps> now they have us both. Yeah, now. <laughs> I don't understand. It is too coincidental. After all that. I dropped those suits off to be cleaned. This is our only choice, huh? Got something really nice in a prison grade. Hope that don't work for it. All would see patients be placed in manual restraints. If the facility floods, they'll drown. To say the power fails. There's a backup generator. And if that goes, the cell doors will open. Oh my. 24 human beings. I put all 42 in wards A and B in manual restraints as well. Excuse me. I'll be with you in a moment. When we spoke this morning about Rachel Solando's note. The law of four, I love that. You said you had no idea what that second line could refer to. Who is 67? What did they do to Rachel? I believe I just heard you say there are 24 patients in ward C and 42 patients in wards A and B, which means there's 66 patients at this facility. It seems to me Rachel Solando is suggesting that you have a 67th patient doctor. Didn't McPherson tell you the good news? Rachel's been found. What? Was she just a ploy to get him here? Were they hiding her? There has been a sighting of a known communist in this area passing out literature. In this neighborhood. Now if you could tell us what you did yesterday, it would really help us narrow down our search. That's smart. I sent the children off to school and then... <laughs> I decided to take a long swim in the lake. There's no way. Where'd they find her? Did they tell us that? After that, I thought of you. Don't you know how lonely I've been, Jim? She thinks he's her husband. How am I supposed to survive? <laughs> I'm so sorry, but everything's gonna be all right, okay? He's so nice. I buried you. My Jim's dead, so who the fuck are you? Oh, this is insane. This place is getting to him. I didn't want to interrupt. I thought she might tell you something. We found her down by the lighthouse, skipping stones. Boss, you 
you okay? It's so goddamn bright, isn't it? You worried about him? Take these mushrooms. A couple of the last will be as cute as the bell. Please don't tell me they're giving him some kind of pills. Oh, this is very, very stressful. Who's that guy? Who is that? That's the war. Don't you worry about him, all right? Poor guy. He probably just wants to go home, but also avenge his wife in some way. The things they saw when... Oh, okay. What? He's dreaming, I know, but... <gasps> Stop! You should have saved me. You should have saved all of us. This is the guy. You played us. Wake up. The clock's ticking, my friend. <laughs> Give me a hand here. Oh! He's going crazy. I could get into trouble. Oh my gosh. Wake up! I can't. I'm so sorry. Why didn't you see me? I wanted to, but by the time I got there... What is he? about what is happening oh my gosh see aren't they beautiful what does he have to do with this and them <laughs> holy crap we are missing a big part of the story his wife is he having a dream inside a dream why are you all wet baby latest isn't dead you need to find him and you'll kill him dead. He's got some demons. Okay, boss. Backup generators fail. Whole place is gone crazy. Oh my gosh, they need to get off this island. Oh my gosh. Nice day for a stroll, don't you think? Towards sea, for example. He wants to help him. This is where they keep the worst ones. Guys, even the other inmates are scared of. Well, their change of clothes became helpful. First time on watch sea, huh? We heard stories, but I haven't heard shit. These fuckers will kill you. They didn't restrain them manually, and now they're all out. Holy. Don't go in there, guys. Oh my gosh. This is terrifying. He's here. Latest. Ah! Dag, you're in! Whoa. That scared me. Oh my gosh. Hey! Hey! Teddy! This is so scary. They need to turn on the lights. Where is everybody? Shouldn't they have all the guards searching for the ones that are still out? Ah! Not again. Oh, Chuck, hurry! Oh my gosh! I don't want to leave here, all right? We hear things here about its bomb test. What? Don't kill him! What are you doing? What the? Catch them, not kill them. He jumped us. No, no, not you. Take a walk. You need to get out of there. Get out of here! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Latest? Is he gonna know who he is? George and I. You don't like it? How did they get you out of that apartment? They knew! It don't you get it? All of this is for you. You're a fucking rat in the maze. George, you're wrong. You've been alone much since you got here? I've been with my partner. You never worked with him before, have you? Oh my gosh. And trust this man. This is for him? Then they've already won. <laughs> They're gonna take me to the lighthouse. They're gonna cut into my brain. Oh my gosh, what happens in the lighthouse? 
I'm gonna get you out of here. You're not going to the lighthouse. She's dead. We'll let her go. So this is the guy he was talking to that told him about this place? Tell him why. You gotta do it. There's no other way. Tell him about the day you brought me my luck. You gotta do it! No, I told you my heart was breaking. And I told you it was from happiness. I'm gonna kill you. I don't know what's happening. You wanna uncover the truth? You gotta let it go. I can't! Then you'll never leave this island. Lars. He's not in this ward. Latest? He's not in ward A. There's only one place he can be. The lighthouse. God help you. Do we not trust Chuck? What happened to you? Took a little detour. The patient wreckage. Do you ever find latest? No. His intake form. Take a look. I'll look at it later. What's the matter, boss? He doesn't trust him anymore. How can we get there? So we're gonna have to double back. There's no way we could cross those rocks. But what are we doing? We got the intake form. It's proof there's a 67th patient. I'm getting to that lighthouse. What the hell happened back there in those cells, Ted? What do you think the weather's like in Portland, Chuck? I'm from Seattle. Seattle. I'm going on. What? Alone. Come on. I gotta put this together. Something's happening. I knew it wouldn't take long, but I couldn't get to it. The tide was up. Chuck! No! That better not be Chuck. I still like Chuck. I still trust him. Holy crap. Please no. It's not him. What is happening? Ew, 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 ew. Is someone in there? Ah! Is he dreaming again? Please tell me he's dreaming again. Ew, oh gosh, oh my gosh. I could never in my life, oh my gosh. Who are you? Is that Rachel? I'm Teddy Daniels. You're the marshal. Would you mind taking your hand from behind your back, please? Why? I want to make sure that what you're holding won't hurt me. Who is that? That's not Rachel. I'm gonna keep this. Who is she? I'm Rachel Solando. What? The real one. Did you kill your children? I never had children. Before I was a patient at Ashcliff, I worked here. You were a nurse? I was a doctor, Marshall. What? People tell the world you're crazy. And all your protests to the contrary just confirm what they're saying. Did she try to tell the world what was going on here and then they declared her insane? I started asking about these large shipments of opium-based hallucinogens. Psychotropic drugs. I asked about the surgeries, too. You ever heard of a transorbital lobotomy? And go through the eye with an ice pick. Pull out some nerve fibers. Makes the patients much more obedient. The North Koreans used American POWs. They turned soldiers into traitors. That's what they're doing here. They're creating ghosts to go out in the world and do things sane men never want. Have that kind of ability. That would take years. years. Years of research. Hundreds of patients to experiment on. Oh my gosh. The Nazis used the Jews. Soviets used prisoners in their own gulags. We tested patients on Shutter Island. You do understand that they can't let you leave. I am a federal marshal. There was an esteemed psychiatrist. Didn't matter. Oh my gosh. Any past traumas in your life? Why, why would that matter? They're gonna because they're going to make Because I got to point to some event and say it's the reason you lost your sanity. <gasps> this is insane. Any funny dreams lately? Headaches? You haven't taken any pills, have you? But you ate the food in the cafeteria and drank the coffee they gave you. Is she telling the truth? Tell me what goes on in that lighthouse. Brain surgery. They learned it from the Nazis, kind of. Wow. This is where they create the ghost. Who knows about this? Everyone. They know and they don't care? Oh my gosh. Please tell me this all comes together. He's so good. He's so good. There you are. The warden. We were wondering when you'd show up. What do I know him from? I'm very scared of him. You enjoy God's latest gift? What? The violence. When I came downstairs and I saw that tree in my living room, it reached out for me a divine hand. What? is he talking about? God loves violence. Why else would there be so much of it? God gave us violence to wage in his honor. This guy's bad. Not violent. But the constraints of society were lifted, and I was all that stood between you and a meal. You would crack my skull with a rock and eat my meat parts. I don't like him. Where's Chuck? Carly thinks that you can be controlled, but I know different. You don't know me. I do. No, don't oh, know I know you. We've known each other for centuries. What is he talking about? 
Macaulay thinks he can be controlled? If I was to sink my teeth into your eye, would you be able to stop me before I blinded you? Give it a try. That's the spirit. This crazy person is in charge of this place? Where have you been? I'm wandering, just looking at your island. You're taking the ferry? Yes, absolutely, I am. Yes. I think we've gotten all we came here for. We, Marshal? My partner, Chuck. You don't have a partner, Marshal. You came here alone. I've built something valuable here that I'm not going to give up without a fight. Why did he say he came here alone? What did they do to Chuck? So tell me again about your partner. What partner? <laughs> this place is getting to him. What did they do to Chuck? Where is he going? Gonna try to find Chuck or go back to the lighthouse? Go get evidence? Going somewhere? Heading out to the ferry. I'm afraid it's the other way. Uh, what's this, Doctor? The Senator. What's you going to do? Kill me? I think you deserve it. For what? Provoking you? Was he gonna stick that in him? He's a cop! Wounds can create monsters. And you are wounded, Marshal. Now, wouldn't you agree? When you see a monster, you must stop it. I agree. Yes. Ah! Are they really doing these brain things in the lighthouse? But it's an island. What are you doing, baby? Oh no, he's having hallucinations again. You gotta get to the ferry. If the world thinks that Chuck is dead, then he's perfect for their experiments. There's only one place they take him. I'm sorry, honey. I love this thing because you gave it to me. The truth is, there's one fucking ugly tie. <laughs> Is this to create a diversion? Is that the girl from the camp? Or the water? Even if he gets evidence at the lighthouse, they're after him. They won't let him leave, just like she said. <sighs> Are you gonna kill me? I'm not gonna kill you. I don't know how this ends. I don't know how I want it to end. I don't know who's telling the truth. But it is horrifying to think like what that Rachel said. If they say you're crazy, everything else you say after that doesn't matter. There's no way they could perform brain surgery in this dirty, small lighthouse, right? Oh, my heart's beating so fast. I just want them to find Chuck. Why you all went, baby? What the freak? You know exactly what I said. The rifle's empty, by the way. Have a seat. Something is messed up. You blew up my car. I really love that car. Sorry to hear about that. Tremors are getting pretty bad. How are the hallucinations? What are they doing to him? Not bad. They'll get worse. Dr. Solando told me about the neuroleptics. Did she know? You'll never get to her. She's not real. Your delusions are more severe than I thought. You're not on neuroleptics. You're not on anything, as a matter of fact. What, what the fuck is this? Withdrawal. From, 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 from what? Chlorpromazine. The same thing we've been giving you for the past 24 months. You've been here for two years. You really think you're gonna convince me I'm crazy? Damn, a U.S. Marshal, for God's sakes. You were a U.S. Marshal. Here's a copy of the intake form. You couldn't find time to look at it? Well, read it now. What? What? From a U.S. Marshal, no remorse for his crime because he denies it. Had enough of this bullshit. Where's Chuck? What? Your wife's maiden name was Chana. Don't you even talk about it. It's your rule of four. What? 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 The names! The names are anagrams. Your name is Andrew Ladis. The 67th patient at Ashcliff is you, Andrew. He's Andrew. Let's, let, let's get down to the facts. You've created right. a story in which you're not a murderer. He's... I wish I could let you just live in your fantasy world. I really do. What's his crime? What? It's been decided that unless we can bring you back to sanity now, permanent measures will be taken to ensure you can't hurt anyone ever again. What? They'll lobotomize you, Andrew. Wait, no. Who's telling the truth? But what about my partner? I don't get it. I mean, watch me. I've been your primary psychiatrist for the last two years. I'm Lester Sheehan. I risked everything to come in here after you. Everything! I know, boss. 
We're running out of time here, Andrew. Wait. I thought that if we let you play this out, we could get you to see how untrue, how impossible it is. We've had the run of the place for two days. This is all role play? When they were questioning those patients? If we fail with you, then everything that we've tried to do here will be discredited, everything. It'll come down to you. No. Double, double! You lost away, because that's the only way you're ever getting off this island. Andrew, please don't. What is happening? It's a toy, Andrew. Dolores was insane. Dolores. You drank, stayed away. You moved to that lake house after she set your city apartment on fire. Oh, you're you're lying. Lying. Andrew, Andrew, your children. Simon, Henry. You know, had any children. Your wife drowned them. Oh, my gosh. Here, the little girl, the one you dream of. Her name was Rachel. Are you going to deny that she ever lived? His wife drowned his children. And then what? So sorry, baby. I told you not to come in here. I'm back! Dolores! No. Where are the kids? Baby, why are you all wet? Oh my gosh. I want to go home. You are home. Where are the kids? She's already done it. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! No! 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 Please go! No! Oh my gosh! These children, no wonder you went crazy! Let's put them at the table. They'll be our living dolls. Tomorrow we can take them on a picnic. Oh my gosh. This is unimaginable. I love you. I love you. Like <laughs> he killed them. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this would do it. Can you hear me? Rachel. Rachel who? My daughter. Why are you here? Laura's told she had an insect living inside her brain. She could feel it clicking across her skull and pulling the wires just for fun. She told me that men listen. I killed them because I didn't get her help. I killed them. Here's my fear, Andrew. We broke through once before, and then you regressed. I hope that what we've done here will be enough to stop it from ever happening again, but I need to know you've accepted reality. I'm replaying this whole movie now in my head. My name is Andrew Latus, and I murdered my wife in the spring of 52. What is real? I gotta get off this rock, Chuck. This is incredibly sad. Which would be worse, to live as a monster or to die as a good man? Teddy? Holy cow. Whoa. Wow, okay. I was so into that movie, I felt like I hardly said anything, so I'm sorry if that reaction was terrible. But I was just processing, 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 especially after they twisted it around. But at the very end, did he know? Did he know that he was lucid? And that he was just gonna go die? Or was he back in the Teddy persona? I don't know. I need to rewatch that again very soon knowing what we know now and re-watching everything because I'm sure the second time things make a lot more sense. Can I just say Leonardo DiCaprio is an incredible actor. That was one of the most heartbreaking horrific stories in the world so it's no wonder he had to make up a delusion because his little Oh, because he blames himself for not getting her help and leaving his children with her. Oh, that was seriously such a trip. It was so different than what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like this scary island where people are killing each other. But okay, anyways, 
I absolutely loved it. Ugh, I did not see that coming. Why can I never see these things coming? You'd think I'd be getting better at this after all the movies I've watched, but anyways, loved it. Love Leo. I love a mystery like that, and this one was completely different because of that. Okay, thank you so much for watching along with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and you guys are the very best. Bye.